Hi there, it's Kid Alois with a yet another Leadership Journey video segment. Today I've got a wild one for you. You've seen on some of the other videos that we've done this idea, this concept of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is nothing more than the ability of the brain to form and reorganize synaptic connections, especially in response to learning. Now, for whatever reason, I'm particularly enthralled with this idea of pressing the limits, trying new things, trying to figure out new things. Some time ago, I learned that one of my fellow colleagues on the leadership journey, Mr. Kenny Copens, was a trained opera singer. This blew me away. Now, while I am not particularly musically inclined at all, except for maybe my 3.5 decade loyal following as a Duran Duran fan, I love the idea of, of me being able to try to sing. So I approached Kenny and asked him, could opera singing be learned? And immediately said, yes, sir, it can. And so the journey began. Kenny and I made a pact that he would teach me how to opera sing, and together we'd perform in front of 174 of our fellow Leadership Journey colleagues this idea of neuroplasticity via this example, the idea that you, if you push yourselves, you can learn and form new reorganized synaptic connections in your brain, and in this case, learn how to, uh, to sing. So I met up with Kenny, it began in North Carolina and Charlotte, and the lessons ensued. And boy, oh boy, was it hard. First off, all parties in the room at that time confirmed that Kit Alowitz does not have a natural singing voice. <laughs> I, in fact, could feel the frustration in my own throat, in my own voice, in my brain and body just 30 plus minutes into trying to learn the techniques required to opera sing. Things like being able to find my new resonance, finding a way and space in my throat and my mouth to keep it open wide, to find the tenor voice while trying to keep my Adam's apple at bay and my face in this constant yawning position required to opera singer. And after all that, that wasn't even the hardest part. The hardest part, at least for me, was trying to learn the words of the song in Spanish. Yes, Kenny and I chose a very famous piece to sing that required I learn to sing it in Spanish. The piece we chose was a particularly beautiful piece called Por Ti Valere that was written in 1995 by two particular gentlemen. What's fascinating to me is that just like the last several neuroplasticity topics that I've taken on to, ch to tackle, there was a predictably, there is a very predictable pattern to being able to learn new things and break through this threshold of neuroplasticity. So whether you're talking about me trying to learn the unrideable bike, learning to hold several different yoga poses, learn to do the yoga trapeze, solving the Rubik's Cube, or trying to learn to play feelings on the accordion, there is a period, there's a per very predictable pattern. There, this period that exists where you've got to learn something new and there's going to be extreme frustration and feeling of failure on the journey to figuring it out. And this was no different. On that journey, there was an immense period of frustration, a long period of frustration, trying to learn how to opera sing and do it in Spanish. And then, just like the other times, I learned if you push through it, you gain new synapses. And then suddenly, it's not frustrating, and the failure leaves and success comes. So I am therefore very, very grateful to Mr. Kenny Copens, as well as Mr. Kimball Alowitz, helping me learn Spanish, as well as, maybe possible at this point, it's opera sing. They both provided me with the knowledge and the awareness, thus combining those two items with countless hours that I was willing to have the higher desire, desire level to practice, I was able to learn the Spanish and take a legitimate run at singing opera. If desire is high enough, my invitation to you, anything is possible. And so, without further ado, here is Mr. Kenny Copens and Mr. Kit Owens performing the Spanish version of Por Ti Vivo solo sueño en holizante, falto de parabras. En los sombras en luces todo es negro para mí, mi dra. Y tú no estás junto a mí aquí. Uh, en 
tu mundo separado del mío profundo mismo. Oye, ya llame, yo voloré en tu mundo lejano. Por ti valore, espera que llegaré mi fin de trayecto y tú contigo viviré por ti valore. Por celos y manos es tu amor, robrando los olos por fin, contigo viviré. Yeah. <laughs> Yo sé que siempre estás ahí, ahí, una luna hecha para mí, siempre iluminada para mí, por mí, por mí, por mí. que llegaré mi fin de trayecto es tú contigo, contigo por ti volveré por cielos y mares es tu amor Whoa!